this is it. Episode number five. So, I have 305 in the bankroll. I am taking the entire bankroll with me. Can you blame me? I'm not going to go back up there with 100 bucks if I lose tonight. If I lose tonight, if I lose 100 bucks, I'm reloading for another 100 bucks. And I'm taking the $5 with me. Every dollar counts. So, yeah. Tonight's the night. If I lose tonight, if I lose the whole thing, the grinder's challenge on this this race comes to a complete bust. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what free roll I can go play at. So, unfortunately for me, I might not be able to lead by example right away because I don't know where I can go play. So, we're about to see what's going to happen. And this is going to be a two-part series, so you're going to get this video tonight while I'm headed up to Windstar. And then you're going to get part two tomorrow or tonight, uh, depending what time I get back home. If I get home about midnight or so, I'll probably go to make the video and drop it. But since I have to live on a thread here, I'm going to leave you hanging too. And, you know, we're going to see what's happening. I'll be completely transparent. If I bust, I bust. It's not that big a deal. I've played for way more than this. This is just uh, an example that I'm trying to set so that you quit using your money to uh, from like your job and stuff. You don't want to be homeless. You don't want your girl to break up with you or your man to leave you or whatever, right? So we're taking a professional structure. We're playing for free. We're taking that cash. We're taking it to the, the legal Windstar or whatever casino is closest to you. We're playing the right, the correct way, right? professional structures only so the bankroll is 305 i won 140 from the free roll then i won 365 the very first game that i sat down in the second game i went and played last weekend i lost 200 so i am now one one and zero so obviously aiming for two and one tonight and since i'm bringing 300 with me I'm feeling a little slaughterhouse-like. I'm not really looking to just double up and secure next week. Maybe I will. Maybe I'm on tilt still. I don't know. I don't know if I really got on tilt. They were just a lot of good players last week, and I was really surprised. I just wasn't prepared for that. Um, and if I would have had, you know, like a normal $2,000 bankroll to play one to, it would have been a totally different story. I probably would have bought back in and maybe even gone to a different table. Because, I mean, the table was tough. You know, you're, you're almost kind of playing bingo. So, I don't know. We're about to find out, right? 305 in the bankroll. Here we go. Uh, okay, and last thing, if I do lose, I don't have any free rolls that I can go play in that I know of. So, I'll have to do a search. And if that is the case, I'm going to need you guys' help. If you guys play these, these free rolls, um, maybe let's set one up together so we can all play as well. And uh, hope that I beat you so that I can take this. I also have a launch pad system going up where I've got quite a few members. If you want to join that group, it's actually a public group. It's just called the Grinders Challenge. We're doing a launch pad tournament where it's a $200 free roll every single time. There is no chopping. It is a bankroll builder tournament specifically, and you have to win it all the way through to first place. The no shortcuts. You get your $200 bucks and get your, your, uh, your first buy-in and you go to the casino. We'll all go together. It's going to be pretty cool, right? So I could win that, but I'm hosting it and filming it. So I don't really see how I could play in the launch pad, but we'll figure something out. If I go bust, help me out, guys. Put me in a tournament somewhere. I got to win at least another 150 or something. So here we go. Episode number five, part one. Part two coming when I get back. I think I'll give you some updates, probably some teasers, but I don't think I'm going to give you the final answer in this Facebook thread as to whether I did win or lost tonight. I'm going to make a video about it and I'll show you the rest of the pictures. I'll be completely transparent. Maybe even the video will figure something out. So yeah, here we go guys. Episode five, part one, part two coming up next. Wish me luck. I need it. Grinders challenge. Not coming to an end. Let's go.
All right, we are back. It is 3 a.m. and I did it. I did it. I did a good job tonight, actually. Should have left a long time ago, but hey. Hootie hoo! Yeah, so um, I actually got up about plus 600 tonight, but I decided to stay on the table because it was one of those beautiful, easy tables and I was running great. But all the bad players also got chewed up by another guy too, or another two guys. And the table went a little bit tougher. So, I guess, let me see what the bankroll was. I, f I already forgot what I cashed out at. I think I plus 340. I think plus 340. Let's see. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. Okay. So, uh, I had five bucks already. So that's what six forty four minus fives, six thirty nine. Yeah. Wow. So I made three thirty nine tonight. Not bad. So I now have a six forty four bankroll. Yay! I think I already forgot. Six forty four, right? I'm so tired. That's why I quit playing. I can't even count my cash anymore. Yeah. Yay! Six forty four. I don't have to go play a free roll. I've technically got three buy-ins now. I'm good. Um, should have had about 200 more than this. It should have been a plus 559 or so. But my good friend Cena decided to come play when she was taking a break from 2-5. And I had aces. She had nines. The flop came 10-8-5. I bet 12 bucks pre-flop and pretty much the whole table called so i led with like 70 bucks uh i was under the, i was a small blind i think so i led with like 70 bucks and she's like tyler that's a lot of money let's just stick it all in there and everybody else folded and i'm like oh shit did you flop a set here like obviously i'm strong but i don't know i think i'm bluffing you haven't played with me but yeah, I had a call. I called and she was like, I have nines. I was like, yes. Total miss. Turn card, nine. I'm like, damn it, Cena. I'm trying to impress the crowd right now. I'm not trying to play hardcore poker with you. I got to build my bankroll. I mean, I have money, but I'm trying to build a structure. I'm trying to set an example. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to put this back in my wallet. This goes in the envelope, all right? Cash in the envelope. So, as you can see, I have 2, 3, 24, 1, 2, minus 200. Sometimes you lose. And then I played today, which is 2, 10, 24. I played 1, 2, and I got plus 339. Yay! So I'm not dead. I can go do this again. Now, this time... Valentine's Day is next weekend, or uh, it's Wednesday. So next weekend, I'm not going to be continuing. Go get to take a break, and then the week after that, I'll probably go follow up and try to do this again. So thanks for tuning in. Sorry, this is a little monotone. It's 3 a.m. and uh, I'm tired. Yeah. Anyway, all right, I did it. Let's go, grinders. All right. I'll talk to you all soon. Later.